Hello everyone. Today's session is about OpenStack Enterprise File Sync and Share Solution and specifically we are focusing on the file sharing part. We have an OpenStack instance running in an Ubuntu server so we are checking it out. As you can see here we have the OpenStack Swift containers you know, ready. There's also a copy of the Gladinet Cloud Enterprise, the file sync and share part running uh, in a Windows 2012 server, you know, side by side uh, with the OpenStack. So what we are going to do now is we will start off by creating a new tenant and then map the tenant to a OpenStack container. The solution is pretty uh, flexible. So let's say if you are a single tenant enterprise edition, then uh, you know, optionally, you can also map each and every individual users to you know their own containers via the API. So let's say if you have provisional portal, uh, then you can provide your users with the um, the each different containers, and then you know connect the containers in for them. So now we are creating the tenant and connect the uh, the OpenStack Swift. To it, so we will use the the Keystone 2.0 to do so because that's the dev stack running in um, the Ubuntu server. It comes with the Keystone. We don't have to use Keystone, but you can, you know, if you have you know V1 authentication, you can use that as well. So now it's creating the users and uh, creating the this tenant can take like 30 seconds. So in the video we cut it short. So um, the the after that the the tenant you know 20 is showing up so now we will use a different browser so when after you create a tenant normally you would check it out on a, you know the tenant will check it out on his own computer but now we are doing the demo on one single computer so we are using different browsers to represent different users so this is using firefox so now as you can see here the doc there's, there's a document folder and there's a picture folder um, so we will upload some files to it. Um, before we do the file sync and share, we will upload some files to it so we can share later on. So now let's do some uh, files, find some files and drag and drop to upload to the OpenStack. So OpenStack is the backend storage and then the Gladinet Cloud Enterprise is the front end uh, interface. So the files are upload it. So if you do a refresh of the OpenStack container, you can see there's tenant 20 contain container created and there's also uh, several files inside the documents folder. So now we are ready. We are ready to start the demonstration of the uh, file sharing part. So to, you can you can start off the, so now we are sharing the folder. So not only you can share file, you can also share the folder. So so this one, we just sh you know, demonstrate that you can share with any email address uh, without requiring a login. And the trade-off is the user receiving it only have read permission. There's no write permission because the user is not a guest user nor a normal user, regular user. Um, so for security reasons, we don't allow you know write permission if the user doesn't have a set of login. And even for the share with any user, you, optionally you can set a password and then you need to communicate a password to the user via a different way, right? So for example, you can you can do it from here and then for example, we set a password to hello world. So you may need to communicate a password via a different way, you know, give the user a phone call or um, send him a different email or text, you know, send him a text message. But anyway, so so here the user receives a, a share uh, over the internet in an email. So the user clicked on it and then um, there's a password required, right? So it's kind of like an electronic envelope and then the password is required. So let's try that. And you can see the um, the the files are showing up right so so here you can download the file to check it out so um, so the user has 
files on the OpenStack container, he can use the Gliding interface to share that out to um, other users if the group policy allows you know, him to do so. So there's different kind of group policies you can control, you know, who and whom and whether or not you can share. So that covers the sharing part to share with an um, external user. So what we are going to do next is we're going to share another folder, but this time we want to give the user uh, who's receiving the file um, right permission. In order to to have the right permission, the user at least has to have to has to be you know some guest user. So there's three different kind of users in the system here. One is the regular user, full uh, permission, full privilege. There's also a guest user. A uh, guest user can only see things in the um, the the shared folder. And then there's also like email user that you can receive um, uh, shares without uh, you know logging requirement. So now we are sharing the same folder to the same email address, but this time we will want to give the user right permission. So in order to give the right permission, we need to add the user as a guest user. So the user has to have a set of credentials before the user can log in. And because of the credential is protecting the the files, so then you can give the user right permission. So this way, um, I don't want the system to generate a password. I want to put the password in because I'm going to text the user the password, a different kind of communication channel. So the user may be receiving the invitation from one email, but uh, he will receive the password from another channel, like a text message on his cell phone. So it's, you know, it's more more secure. So now. Let's go back and check the um, check the the email, and you can see the user receives another um, another invitation. But this time, there's no password, and you cannot you cannot open it. You have to log in. So let's say go ahead and log in, and then let's say this user also receives the password I set up for him um, via a different channel, like the um, like the the text message I sent send him so now so now he can he can log in and then he sees the files and folders shared with him and then for this one he has right permission so if he needs to um, needs to upload or modify files he can now we covered the um, for the user who wants to share files and folders he can start doing so by using a web browser and now we want to log in into the Windows client and we will do the same sharing from the Windows client. So now um, let's see. We're going to create a new folder first because we're going to be sharing this folder. So let's say it's called text document. You know, let's say I want to share something with my CPA and um, I'm sending him some some text documents to share with him. So first of all, you can drag and drop the files um, to the folder. So the drag and drop is going to initiate the upload to the OpenStack Swift. So all these files are going into OpenStack Swift first, and then after that, um, we can share the the files and folders out to um, to the other people. So I, as you can see, you can verify the files already uploaded to OpenStack. And now click on share. Um, you can see there's, um, you know, I can share that with the, uh, so assuming Zach is, our, is my CPA, and then you can share that directly from the Windows client. give it two weeks to get a text document done. So so now sharing is done, right? So zero will be, uh, you can do it from a Windows client. And then you can see the uh, the Zach user receives the, uh, the text document folder immediately, right? After I share that from the Windows client. So you can do the sharing from Windows clients. We are not just from the web browser. And what's next? Um, I'm going to demonstrate the sharing from an iPhone device. 
so you can share any you know not just from the browser from the Windows client you can also share that from an iPhone um, so let's see so I'm going to uh, connect to the same endpoint so I'm going to just set something up in the settings to make it easy you don't have to um, you can always go you know launch just launch the app and put this thing in um, I kind of like just to you know set it up in the settings so I don't have to do it later kind of like email right so you can set up the email credentials in the settings and then later on you can just use it so now let's see so the same um, the gliding app windows uh, the iPhone app the, you know it's brandable um, if you want to uh, and then you can see the files and folders are showing up and then you could do the sharing from here so you can click on the share button here and then you can you know add the users you can see the the folder is already shared with Zach and then if you want to share it with someone else you could um, just add to it so that's all for today um, so today as a summary we have OpenStack, we have Gladinet Cloud Enterprise, and then we demonstrate the file sharing of OpenStack files to other people using web browser interface, using Windows interface, and using the iPhone interface. Thank you, everyone.